plot shall be our stage, and we will do it in action as we will do it before the Duke. <gasps> oh, what sayest thou, Bully Bottom? There are things in this comedy of Pyramus and Thisbe that will never please. First of all, Pyramus must draw a sword to kill himself, which <coughs> the ladies cannot abide. How answer you that? Oh, well. I believe we should leave the killing out when all is done. No. Not a whit. I have a device to make all well. Write me a prologue. <laughs> Let the prologue seem to say, we will do no harm with our swords, and Pyramus is not killed indeed. And for the more better shirts, tell them that I, Pyramus, <laughs> am not Pyramus, <laughs> but Bottom, the weaver. This will put them out of fear. Well, we will have such a prologue. <laughs> Pro 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 <laughs> will not the ladies be feared of the lion? A lion among ladies is a most dreadful thing, for there is not a more fearful wildfowl than your lion living. Therefore, another prologue must tell he's not a lion. Nay, <laughs> you must name his name, and half of his face must be seen to the lion's neck, and let him name his name and tell them plainly that he's Snug the Joiner. Ah, well, it shall be so. <laughs> oh, then there is another thing. We must have a wall in the great chamber. For Pyramus of Thisbe, such as a story, did talk through the chink of a wall. We can never bring in a wall. What say you, Bottom? Some man or other must present a wall. <laughs> and let him have some plaster, loam, or rough cast about him to uh, signify wall. And let him hold his fingers thus. <laughs> with that phrase, shall Pyramus and Thisbe whisper. Now, oh, it shall be so. Come sit down and rehearse your parts. Pyramus, you begin. You shall go Enter into that break, and so everyone according to his cue. What hempen homespuns have we swaggered here? So near the cradle of the fairy queen? What's a play toward? I'll be an auditor, too, or an actor, too, perhaps, if I see cause. Speak, Pyramus. This may stand for <clears throat> <laughs>
cruel are the times when violent sorrow seems a modern ecstasy. Nation miserable, when shalt thou see thy wholesome days again? <laughs> sit down, sit down. At first and last, the hearty welcome. Good morrow. Good morrow. Good morrow. Take the brains out. <laughs> <laughs> Come, you spirits, fill me from the crown to the toe. Uh, Macbeth is a book where men may read strange matters, duh. Oh, tell me more. Strange images of death, no the bloodiest pitch, disdaining fortune, a dismal conflict, the most disloyal traitor. My thoughts. Oh, speak, I charge you. Nothing in his life became him like the leaving it. He died as one that had been studied in his death, to throw away the dearest thing he owed, as twere a careless trifle. School yourself, his wisdom can provide. Transporting me beyond this ignorant present. Come, you spirits. Take forth paper, write upon it. How goes the world? Tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow. Creeps at this petty pace from day to day to the last syllable of recorded time. And all of our yesterdays have lighted fools the way to dusty death. What are these? The instruments of darkness. Oh, full of scorpions is my mind. Good sir, why do you stop? Why do we hold our tongues? What will you do? Our time does call upon us. Let every man be master of his time to make society the sweeter welcome. And look on death itself. There's no such thing. Help me have hope. Being unprepared. Fair is foul and foul is fair. I pray you, speak not. Were such things here as we did speak about? We learn no other. If it were done when tis done, then twere well that it were done quickly. This blow might be the be all and the end all here. We will proceed no further in this business. No, was the hope joke? If we should fail, but school your courage to the sticking place and we'll not fail. When shall we meet again? When the hurly burly's done. When the battle is lost and won. With furbished arms begin a fresh assault. Let us meet and question this most bloody piece of work. What is it you said? Yeah. The instruments of darkness tell us truth. Cool. Now I see it's true. <laughs> Proof? Here's another, more potent than the first. <laughs> <laughs> Mine eyes have made the fools of the other senses. Well contented. And more truths? This even hand to justice, but in these cases, we still have judgment. Wise, judicious, and best known. Cruel are the times. <laughs> what is that noise? <laughs> out of to her wounds. Let this pernicious hour stand, I, a cursed in the calendar, with furbished arms and new supplies. The tyrants began a fresh assault with terrible numbers, savagely slaughtered. Strange screams of death. One cried, God bless us, and amen, the other. Under what heavy judgment bears that life which he deserves to lose. What's done cannot be undone. Angels are bright still, though the brightest fell. This is a sorry sight. This is a sorry sight. How cruel are the times. Where violent sorrow seems a modern ecstasy. O nation miserable! When shalt thou see thy wholesome days again? And what, what will you, you do, do now? now? How, How will you, you live? live? 